Before beginning our journey, we will cover some of the more heady aspects of the soul journey work. We begin by entering the sacred space of the heart, seeing the consciousness as a little ball of light the size of a marble, which sits right behind the pineal gland in the middle of the brain and looks out the physical eyes. We will move our consciousness down into the physical heart. This is done with three simple breaths plus one more to enter the heart. Part of the activation process is the Merkaba activation. This electromagnetic field, which usually remains dormant for most adults, is found around the physical body. It will be reactivated in a simple three breath process. This image shows what the traditional Merkaba looks like around the human body. This geometry is known as the star tetrahedron and is only one of many possible geometries that make up the Merkaba field. For our intent and purposes, simply use the star tetrahedron as your visualization for the Merkaba activation. Once you are within the ascension chamber, you will become aligned throughout time, space, and dimensions, bringing all the bigger you into this here-now moment. The 5D animator ascension chamber was created energetically before being brought into the physical. It is this energetic aspect of the chamber which allows for all the energy work to take place. Simply visualize the 5D animator ascension chamber as a column of light. Being within this particular column of light raises your frequency and vibration and holds the space for your soul to do all the healing, clearing, releasing, and activations, uploads, downloads that are for the highest and greatest good, and all with grace and ease. You are welcome to call in all of those who walk with you for your highest and greatest good and all those who walk with them for the highest and greatest good to be here in support and to witness your journey. Okay, we will begin our soul journey by entering the sacred space of the heart. Visualize yourself standing on your favorite spot in nature, that special place on this earth where you are in love with Mother Earth. As you send your love down to the earth, she sends her love right back up. Breathe in that unconditional loving energy up through the feet, allowing that healing energy to permeate every cell of the body and in between every cell of the body. Allow that to settle into the physical heart. Next, we connect up to Source, Creator, God, the Central Sun, whatever you call that higher power. Breathe in that unconditional loving energy down into your crown, allowing that healing energy to flow through the body, all the way to the tip of the toes, and settling into the physical heart. Next, we take in a deep breath from both earth and sky, bringing both these energies together within the heart, with you, swirling the energies of earth, sky, and you, all within your heart. As we visualize our consciousness as that little ball of light that sits right in the middle of the brain, we take in another deep breath from both earth and sky, and as we exhale, drop your consciousness down into your physical heart. The sacred space of the heart. From there, find a place to settle your consciousness down onto, that sacred seat of the heart. This is where our soul journey begins, from within the sacred seat of the heart. Now visualize yourself standing in front of this energetic column of light, which is the 5D animator ascension chamber. As you step into this column of light, you are aligned throughout all time, space, and dimensions with your higher soul self and all of your soul's aspects. This includes you, the human being, as an aspect of your soul. While standing within this column of light, all that is of lower vibration has to pop out of this column to either be transmuted or taken back to source. This includes any sticky energies, cords, non-beneficial consciousness, or entities, or any other energetic attachments. 
all soul contracts which no longer serve you are also released and pop outside of this column and are then dissolved. Again, clearing all that within your field that no longer serves you. Cleaning and clearing, aligning and balancing takes place within the chakras, meridians, and energy bodies, including the emotional body as well as the physical, which we will work more on soon. As things come up during the process, you are welcome to assist the clearing of programs, beliefs, and emotions which no longer serve you by taking in a deep breath, bringing up all those programs, beliefs, and emotions which no longer serve you, and blowing them out into the column of light to be transmuted and cleared. You may choose to do this often in the process as we peel away the layers like an onion. As we walk through life, we give out little pieces of our soul to others along the way. We will now bring back all of those little soul shards to be cleaned and cleared and reintegrated, as well as sending out the soul shards of others which we may have received to be cleaned and cleared and sent back to where they belong. If you can now picture yourself as a column of light, which you are, it extends from source and anchors down into the crystal sun of the earth. Allow all which no longer serves you to fall away, to be swept up and cleared within the column of the chamber. Any non-beneficial energetic implants are now brought into awareness to either be removed or dissolved through the vibration and frequency of unconditional love which permeates your entire being. As the geometries of light come up from beneath your feet, they assist in cleaning, clearing, and activating DNA for not only the physical body, but through your connection to your soul family and star group, you are unlocking DNA all the way back to source. If there is a misalignment with your DNA, which is not for your highest and greatest good, the soul will step in between you and source and bring forward the DNA template that is for your highest and greatest good and bring that into your field for integration with your physical. Next, we will see if your soul calls forth any ancestors or past lives that may be non-beneficially affecting you in the here-now moment. Columns of light are set up for any and all of these to step into allowing for their healing to take place to clear up any cords or connections from these sources which may be affecting you in the here and now moment. And we will just continue to hold space for that. As you feel your crown begin to open and you are connected to your soul family, you will receive the downloads of soul codes. Next, we will do the Merkaba activation. This is as simple as taking the Trinity breath, that breath from earth and sky, and mixing it with you within your heart, and sending that breath out your heart along with all the geometries that are for your highest and greatest good. So let's go ahead and take in that deep breath from both earth and sky, mixing them together with you within your heart and blowing out with force from your heart space. All of your Merkaba fields. Good. As your Merkaba is a part of your consciousness, it can hold and amplify intentions. There are three basic intentions which I like to put into my field. The first intention is that I am always guided, guarded, and protected. That I have clear communication and understanding with my guides and my higher soul self. And only that which is for my highest and greatest good may enter my field. You can go back at any time and set intentions into your field by simply being in the sacred space of the heart and stating your intentions. 
as you stand within this column of light that is the 5D animator ascension chamber, you have basically been attuned to it. You can recreate this column of light at any time for the purpose of cleaning, clearing, aligning, and balancing. All of the activations, attunements, uploads, and downloads are complete. Another purpose for the 5D animator ascension chamber is healing. Healing on the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, or with life situations. Within this column of light, you have much support available. There's the Council of Light and the Source Rays. There's the plant, crystal, and mineral kingdoms of the earth. There are the earth elementals, such as fire, air, water, wind, ether. There's also the unconditional love frequencies of the dragons, which can melt away blockages and other non-beneficial energies, as well as allow for instantaneous healings to occur through the raising of vibrations. You can access any of the above through this column of light consciously, or you can simply ask your soul to bring through whatever is for your highest and greatest good. If there is, for example, healing that you wish to occur, put your attention onto it and let it go. Do not try to direct the energies, nor utilize them with any specific outcome. Simply put your attention to where you wish the energy to flow and let it go. Again, this can be used for healing and clearing with anything physical, mental, emotional, or life situations without directing and without intended outcome. Just let it go and let it flow. Now as we near our time of completion, let's anchor that multidimensional part of you, your soul, into this physical here-now moment allowing you to be the multidimensional being that you are while anchored into the physical. Begin by bringing awareness back into your body. As you are still within this column of light, see your physical cells begin to ignite with the light of your soul. Allowing you to fully anchor in All right. It is an honor to share this with all those at this time. I hope you walk out onto this earth standing in your true power while anchoring your light, your soul's light, for all to see. Much love. Namaste in Inlakesh.